all our uh, mega legislative research fellows was created to provide a learning opportunity for for all the young people in the state and especially it has a significant where the fellowship lies to f in facilitation of the, the constituency research and management for the honorable legislators to empower the mega state assembly now the 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 principle here is that each member of the legislative assembly shall be assisted by an MLRF fellow to support the respective elected members in legislative discussions, in draft uh, to draft questions, zero hour debates on budgets, question hours, and motions. After completion of this fellowship, it is envisaged that these fellows will continue to be part of the development ecosystem in the state and the country, thereby making this fellowship an investment for the future of our own country. Sir, being the first of this kind of this kind initiative in the northeastern region, this fellowship aims to contribute to the following: to create an integrated database of the speeches, the bills, and the policy drafts presented by respective MLAs in the assembly, to organize orientation and workshops for the new legislators, and facilitate advancement of the committees of the House, such as the Rules Committees, the Motions, etc. To empower MLAs to extensively participate in the private members' bills in the House. To initiate analytical research and development of legislative and constituency affairs. Data collection and evaluation of the feedback on public services utilities in respective constituencies. So, the goals of this program, which we expect to achieve, is that we will be able to promote landmark legislations led by individual MLAs on innovation and entrepreneurship agendas in the Mega Legislative Assembly with empirical and analytical perspectives. We will be able to enable the MLAs to participate in the members' bill and actively engage in the technical discussions of the zero and question hours during the assembly sessions to improve the strategic and cooperative relationships of the elected representative among the respective constituents and to bridge the gap between the citizens and the legislature and promote awareness on constituents-led legislation. So, Meghalaya being situated across international borders requires legislators with networking skills to engage with global platforms on public policies, business and geopolitical affairs. This helps to deal with international affairs with competency of locally sourced resources. So on this on this auspicious day where we are introducing our young people for the first time, sir, we seek your blessings, we seek your guidance, and most of all, we have with us twelve young and highly trained young professionals who would be able to provide to you the kind of support which we hope will set an agenda for the for the different states of the Northeast. Thank you, sir. And I would like to request each of them to introduce themselves before you. And uh, good afternoon to all my fellow and colleagues. Uh, my name is Vinay Adhikari, and I was a practicing advocate uh, before I joined this fellowship. I have been enrolled in, uh, I was practicing in Tiwagar Association, enrolled under the Meghalaya State Bar Council. And uh, uh, through this fellowship, I am uh, looking forward to uh, assist and be of uh, use and utility to uh, the legislators for an effective governance, sir. Thank you, sir. I completed my post-graduation from Tata Institute of Social Sciences, and I worked with UNICEF in Jharkhand as a state manager. My name is Nahid Yasinsi. I've completed my post-graduation from NIT Meghalaya, and I'm currently working as an MNR fellow. Uh, when this opportunity of this fellowship came up, I thought that it was a great opportunity for the citizens to be involved in governance because we as citizens face a lot of problems in our day to day lives. So we feel that if we could work together with the legislators, we would be able to solve the problems of the citizens. My name is Agatha Amara. I'm from Tura Meghalaya. Uh, I was working with MBMA for past three years. So now I'm a uh, MLR fellow and I'm assigned with five legislatures. Thank you. Uh, 
Honourable Chief Minister and Leader of Opposition and all the legislators present here. My name is Meba Aigenbla. I have a postgraduate, completed my postgraduate in social entrepreneurship from Tata Institute of Social Sciences. After that, I worked with Teach for India and uh, Meghadia State Skills Development Society and SOS Children's Village of India. I look forward to working with the legislators here. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, sir, um, the CM, uh, Leader of Opposition and all the legislators. My name is Ibalari Makri. I completed my uh, Master's in Labor Studies and Social Protection in uh, Humanities and Social Sciences from hum uh, Stata Institute of Social Sciences, Guwahati. Um, and I'm allotted to assist five legislators and I'm looking forward to this program. Honorable Speaker, Honorable CM, Honorable Leader of Opposition and CNS and everyone present up, out here. My name is Anuradha Seel. I'm presently pursuing PhD in Agribusiness Management and currently working as an MLRF Fellow. Thank you. Sir, Honourable Chief Minister, Honourable Leader of Opposition and all the respected legislators. My name is Lizzie Panwar. I was, uh, I, I graduated, I, I did my post-graduation in law from NLU Jodhpur and I was enrolled as an advocate in Meghalaya Bar uh, Association. Uh, after that, I, uh, I started um, teaching as an, uh, a guest lecturer and um, I look forward towards to this uh, particular fellowship and uh, to this uh, learning experience. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Chief Minister, and Honorable uh, Leader of Position, and all the other respected members of the, state, of the legislation. I am Joal. Sir, I am a law graduate from National Law University, Orissa, and I am an enrolled advocate in uh, Delhi, Delhi Bar Association. I am currently based here for the program of MLRF and I look forward to this opportunity and look forward to the support and blessings of all the respected members here. Thank you. Good afternoon, Leader of uh, Opposition, uh, the Speaker, Sir, Leader of Opposition and the Chief Minister. My name is Colleen Dengo and I have a degree from in International Studies from in, uh, JNU. And I have been allotted to five ministers, including the chief minister. Uh, I look forward to this learning experience in this fellowship. Thank you. Speaker, sir, leader of opposition, and the chief minister, and all other legislators present here. I am Motika Sinha Rambai from Jawai, Meghalaya. I'm an ongoing PhD in economics and currently an MLRF fellow. Through this fellow, I'm very, I'm very much excited to learn about the gap analysis in the implementation and the targets and the efficiency and the working productivity of the government services. Thank you. The Leader of Opposition, my name is Natasha Dekhar. I'm a postgraduate in literature. Uh, currently, I'm an uh, MLRF fellow and as a youth of this state, I'm looking forward to this opportunity. Thank you so much. Uh, I did my public policy from King's College London and uh, I've been working with uh, the planning department here with Sampat sir and uh, uh, Vijay Kumar sir. And uh, I've been working with uh, Baibin and uh, Commissioner Secretary Andrews uh, in designing this Legislative Research Fellowship and I'm co-leading this program. Thank you. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Chief Minister, and ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's uh, an initiative I just uh, had the privilege to uh, learn from the Honorable Speaker uh, last year when this whole idea was being embarked upon. And uh, I'm sure this will come uh, very handy for the legislators and uh, particularly for um, everyone though, but then particularly for the new legislators. See, for all of us, uh, people who have uh, decided to be in public life, uh, you know, the dimension of the learning process that we have to go through is enormous and unending, even for us. Therefore, this whole exercise will be a continuous process. And uh, for all these young uh, resource persons like uh, the support that the legislators will have, will obviously be a challenge for themselves also because uh, they will have to also go through that whole conditioning process. Because there is no other job which is tougher than the job of a politician. Let me be very, very frank. Yes. This is based on my own due diligence, exhaustive analysis. And uh, that's why the, the burden of uh, responding to our call of duty is uh, immeasurable. We cannot quantify. 
and uh, as things unfold, as these issues uh, keep on confronting us, so you know, the whole multi-dimensional challenges and uh, subjects that we deal uh, are uh, so diverse. We can't be confined to one particular subject because we need to deal with everything. There's not even a single sector which will not be required to be dealt with by uh, a member of a house, whether it is an MLA or an MP. So therefore, you know, uh, the learning process for us is uh, bound to be a continuous process. And uh, therefore, for all of you, since you will be associated with the legislators, whether it is in the process of legislation or dealing with number of issues, how to really uh, align our approach in policy decision, uh, given the kind of unforeseen challenges as issues keep on confronting us. So I'm sure this uh, uh, initiation will definitely will enrich us and uh, have the uh, backup team, you know, particularly uh, compiling ideas and sharing them, which is uh, compiled in a kind of a format easily available for the legislators will be handy. So I look forward, you know, to see how this initiative uh, works. I'm sure it will work, but definitely uh, uh, you will also have to be all the young ones. You know, you have come from diverse background, from academic perspective. I am very happy that most of you have come from uh, premier institutions, renowned institutions, and you must have gone through, you know, the whole process of conditioning uh, as you uh, reach this level of uh, your um, studies in your academic field. So with this background, you are already equipped with the wherewithal. You only will have to be receptive to the challenges that will be associated with the kind of assignment that you are taking. So my best wishes will be always there to you know share ideas. And you learn from us, and many of our friends will also learn from you. So it will be a two exercise. Uh, and it will be also important for all of you to really look at people who have the wealth of experience in whole uh, matter of legislation and dealing with public issues, policy matters and all, and uh, enrich yourself so that those wealth of knowledge that you will, get, you will gather uh, can be handy for you as you assist uh, and support the legislators. My best wishes for us. Thank you. Our Honourable Leader of Opposition, all our Honourable MLAs who are present out here, and all the uh, uh, research uh, fellowship uh, program uh, scholars that we have today, and uh, the entire team that has made this possible. Uh, this whole idea had uh, started, of course, a long time back. And um, when I was, uh, I had a small uh, uh, you know, uh, period of uh, experience in the parliament, we, we had a lot of research scholars there. And there were different agencies that used to help um, MPs to understand the different bills that were coming up. Uh, they used to help, uh, uh, you know, before the bill used to come out, every Wednesday there used to be a discussion on what the next week bills will be. And these were research scholars like you, who would then uh, give that presentation and the background about the entire bill that's coming up and how it would impact uh, the people in society. And it makes life very easy for uh, the members then to really understand what's happening. So a lot of times, uh, uh, again, this I hope the members don't take it otherwise, uh, you know, some, some can be quite lazy and uh, you know, they don't want to read the whole uh, bill. And it, it's a fact because sometimes we don't have that much time. So if there is a system that allows us to do this research okay. and allows uh, you know, people who are into research to do the hard work and bring it out in a much more easier, presentable manner and give a concise uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, view of what the bills are, uh, obviously it leads to productivity. And uh, that was the starting point of this entire thought process. And I'm very happy that today this has finally happened and uh, today we have got great people who are in the team and uh, ultimately what's going to happen is uh, the efficiency of legislation will go up. That's really what the hard uh, fact is and that's really what we're trying to achieve out here. We realize that uh, you know a lot of um, uh, legislatures are not able to 
uh, go deep into a lot of the subjects that really matter and a lot of times we pass the bills without really understanding what the bill is all about. So it started with that thought but you have to realize and understand that an institution like this and a system like this can have huge impact overall. So um, what you will have to really understand and will have to figure out is how far you want to go because this is unending. Now if you have some people who are attached with ministers then you are actually in the executive side. You are actually going to be working where we are doing the work and uh, you know implementing the projects and uh, so that's more to do with governance and monitoring and uh, accountability in one way. All those aspects you'll have to look into the implementation part and when, we're, when you're with legislatures then you're actually in the legislature wing and therefore there you are actually going to be uh, helping the um, the legislatures um, uh, identify issues that are important to the people. Somebody was mentioning uh, earlier that uh, you know that uh, this will help uh, uh, the grassroots and the public connect to the legislatures and bring out issues that are important for it. So uh, you'll have to figure out whether uh, you'll work with the governance aspect of you know of the executive or you're going to be with the legislatures where you're going to actually then uh, help in bringing the issues, preparing questions, uh, you know cracking down on the bills figuring out how it can be made stronger so uh, it'll be you'll have to see it from that angle also so it's very huge and very vast uh, so even if you work with legislatures uh, you know again you need to remember that you need to figure out few specific things you want to do if you try to do everything it's going to go all hodgepodge this is what i feel so you need to be very clear what you want to do and my suggestion would be that if you're going to work with legislatures uh, number one of course is most important is to understand the mindset of legislatures. You have to make sure you are always uh, understanding what they're trying to do. Politicians uh, have got, as was mentioned by the leader of opposition, have got multiple roles. So you need to see how you're going to assist. So therefore, uh, while you are working, I think we start off by simple things where uh, for anything you want to do, any kind of data in research is always helpful. So let us start with working and making sure that you start doing a lot of research on facts and data being collected on the different bills, presentations being made, a centralized database being created for all of this. I think you start with uh, that kind of a, um, you know, uh, a model, then, for, then go into assisting the legislatures in two issues, one or uh, three issues I should say. One is uh, uh, you know, the different issues that are there in the state, so you can prepare questions for them. You can, you know, bring out, uh, you know, scan through Facebook, scan through different news articles and figure out what's happening in the state and what people are really wanting and prepare those questions in a real good manner so that it's, uh, you know, the house can be very productive. Uh, so number, so the preparing questions is one area. Second, I think, areas which is very important, uh, which we have discussed already, is those, those issues when we prepare, like, for example, now somebody wants to discuss on law and order. I think you guys can prepare the speech and the points at least on what would be productive in terms of participation during the session time. So uh, I think it's important that um, research-based arguments and research-based uh, interactions and debates are much more effective on the House and it will raise the level of uh, discussion in the House. And third is uh, I think the area of rules. You know, a lot of time, a lot of legislatures actually are not able to go through the rules and there are a lot of rules. You know, even our honorable leader of opposition, who is uh, one of the senior most, will tell you that sometimes he also has to go through the rule book and figure out what's happening because it's so vast. And uh, uh, so you can't imagine a new legislator coming in and they won't even know that, uh, well, you know, 14 days before you have to submit the questions, uh, you know, how you have to uh, draft the whole uh, process for putting up a call attention motion or different things. It, legislators spend about a year, a year and a half just learning that part. And before they know it, so um, it'll be important to ensure that you, 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 you can get into that aspect. So these three things you can start off with. And I think as you go along, as you s we are able to see what the legislature is doing or not doing, I think you'll be able to then add and modify how you'll be able to uh, support uh, those legislatures in ensuring that their constituency work improves. You can actually go down and start doing research on uh, what are the areas that are important in their constituencies, which polling station is having what kind of issues, 
you know, where the programs were supposed to be implemented, are they being implemented or not. So it's, it's unending. So you can go into that aspect also. So that's from the legislature point of view. Those of you who are going to be from the government point of view and attached to ministers, uh, it's a different story altogether. I mean, here you are basically going to be seeing the different programs that are being implemented by us. So there's not much of uh, uh, research in terms of what issues there are. You will be on the side of the ruling in one way and you will be actually, um, you can help in terms of uh, figuring out whether the programs and the implementation that we're doing is actually working or not. So you could actually take up, uh, say for example, one program like say Jal Jeevan Mission and say, well, okay, look, I'm going to go to Jal Jeevan Mission and let's see the implementation, let's see the quality. But of course, those things you'll have to work out with the Honorable Minister's concern and the team that is there. So. Um, I, I leave it at that. I, I, we can go on and on with this because it's a very vast topic, very vast subject. Uh, and that's the reason why I suggest that let us not make, let's not take too much in our hands. Start off with very simple things and modify them as you go along because uh, the student don't really. And I think, um, uh, but the primary, uh, because that's why I was surprised when uh, somebody said that they have been assigned to ministers. Because I thought the primary objective of this was to help legislatures improve their quality of research so that they can ask better questions, more meaningful questions, and they can participate in the debate in a much more productive manner. That was really what the thing was. And there should be a research uh, database where they can access the different bills that are there, uh, maybe compare it with other bills in other states, uh, all those kind of things, and, and come out with a very scientific way of really doing legislation. And as I said, we are not at that moment, even in parliament, I'll tell you, uh, 70 to 80 to 90 percent of the uh, MPs most probably have not gone through the bills. They just vote because there's a whip that's been issued uh, for, <laughs> for or against. And that's it. They know the name of the bill, but hardly anybody reads it. So that is the reason, reason why organizations like PRS and all came up. And then obviously that's the reason why we are doing this here so that we can ultimately improve the quality. So. Go through it, you figure out how you want to move forward in it. But uh, as I said, start with a uh, few very basic things and then move forward. And from the government side, as I said, uh, we are fine with it, the, the team, but whichever way you want to see it. It's a very broad subject, as I said, uh, so we can really do so many things. But uh, uh, I mean, you'll have to get into the system and then figure out how to move forward in, in the government part. But legislation, I'm, I'm very happy. It'll work very well and uh, the legislatures will really benefit because you will have the year to the ground. You will be able to give a lot of things. As I said, just, just screening. I, I remember once uh, I was in opposition, so I just um, put a message on Facebook asking people, please give me questions. And I got 300 questions. You know, So with that, I just put the 300 questions. I redrafted it and then submitted it to the assembly. So these kind of things uh, are something that you can, uh, technology and all these aspects, you can figure out and, and figure out how to help the legislatures. Uh, improve their overall performance in the house. So anyway, we can go on and on, but um, um, that's only a few suggestions that I had from my side. I wish uh, all of you the very best, and I'm sure that your contribution will be great to the legislatures and overall to the performance of the assembly. Thank you very much. We have already uh, interacted with the entire team, and uh, I happen to be there for the closing session of the training programs of your induction program at uh, Mati in Mount India. And uh, we have uh, shared a little bit about uh, what exactly is a role at, as you are all being uh, trained and uh, informed that uh, your role is basically to be attached to all the legislators. As of now, we have already uh, attached all of you to the legislators. At least uh, five legislators will be taken care of by one research fellow. Um, I am yet to know how many of them you have met and interacted so far. Uh, but this is the right time to catch them here in the house. Because uh, when they'll be out, so most of them they'll be busy in their own constituencies and uh, in their day-to-day -day, you know, uh, activities. So I feel uh, that this is the right place where you can meet them and uh, interact with them. The most important thing which I would like to request all of you is that uh, first of all, you should know the mind of the legislature that you're going to you know, uh, be attached to as, uh, because that will be a very, very important role for you to understand exactly 
where uh, you can pitch in to ensure that you help them in, uh, in that uh, manner. And uh, because of the constraint of time today, as the Honorable LO has to rush for some meeting, and uh, we have already uh, met and will keep on meeting. And uh, I look forward to all the research fellows to perform the best you could. And uh, this year as, uh, is going to be, as I've already shared with all of you, that is going to be the last year of this term. So most of the legislators will be busy in their own constituencies. So especially post-budget sessions, uh, you'll hardly meet them. But I'm sure that since you'll be attached to them, you'll be having whatever time or appointments to meet them, to assist them in whatever way. And I feel that, as asked by Ivan, what is the goal and what is the target, something like that. Uh, well, for me, I feel that this is the right timing for all of you. Or uh, maybe you may say it's the wrong timing, because you have to work overtime to give them all the information, to provide them all the data and whatever information is needed by the honorable members. So it will be in a very, very you know, sh short you know, time that you have to do all those things to do them, provided they ask you all this. So I wish you all the best and uh, looking forward for any support from my office. Bahadur is there, my secretary is there, and of course Bahaiban and the team are there to guide you and to assist you in the, those uh, matters and uh, things that you are looking from all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.